Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing another general timeless reading for you. I took some days off. I'm recharged and happy to be here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for hanging out with me in this space. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, glad to be here. Glad that you're here. All right, so this is a room for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, please, please bring in the most relevant, important, and accurate um, predictions, confirmations, and advice for Pisces. I have an announcement. We got 60% off sale on everything on the website okay so even courses like the six figures from purpose that you know gives you a blueprint on how to become very abundant as you are of service while you're of service as a light worker and all sorts of other courses the abundance blueprint the energy protection course the tarot course you know there's so many amazing things i would love to share with you and right now they're all 60% off is our mid-year sale. So take advantage of it, Pisces. Check it out. You can go ahead and purchase um, at the small prices and then, you know, use them whenever you feel like it, whenever you get a chance, you know. It, they're not going to go anywhere. So you can use them at the end of the year, next year, you know, a little bit by a little bit. All right. First card that we got here, the Knight of Cups, Pisces. Some of you may be receiving some kind of invitation, an extension of love, a confession of love is what I'm hearing. Some of you are going to be asked, asked out by someone that you have an eye on. I feel like many of you who are interested in romantic love, but not there yet, and you have someone in your mind... I don't know, it seems like you're manifesting this person coming right to you, being very attracted and um, sort of like charmed by you, Pisces, and asking you out on a date or inviting you somewhere or maybe even confirming that they like you too, something like that. Could be a Cancer, um, Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. And of course, that is not going to be the case for all of you, but for some of you, if you're wanting a confirmation, that's pretty much it. But let them come to you if you can. Pisces, I see here that some of you are actually receiving um, a confirmation of someone's support towards you. A confirmation that someone is on your side, that they are there for you, that they love you, that they want to see you thrive. This could be a family member, this could be a friend, this could be a partner. But what I see is that you're going to be more and more open to receiving help from someone. Or just kind of opening your heart to be loved by someone, almost. It's like you're not going to feel that need to do things on your own, to do things alone all the time. Um, I see that in your mind that there is a lot of desire for collaboration. For some of you, it's desire. For others of you, it's kind of like tolerance. It's like you know that you should probably work with other people, um, do collaborations, maybe have a team, hire people, be hired by people, whatever. Um, some of you are very thrilled about the idea. Others of you are like, fine, I roll, let's do it. But bottom line, this is bringing you into a support system that is going to exceed all of your expectations. That's what I'm hearing. So in the recent past with the temperance card here, some of you may have been dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you may have really been focusing for quite some time in your inner balance really making sure that your habits are in place, that your routines are in place, that you have awareness of how to reach your center 
especially when you fall off the wagon <laughs> with something. Some of you have been going through a process that requires patience, kindness, love, compassion. And I feel like someone here has been very compassionate with you while you are in your process. You may feel a little bit insecure, Pisces. This could have something to do with money, finances, job, investments. You may feel a little bit uncomfortable with receiving someone's help, but it's like you're open to it. Maybe before you weren't, and now you're kind of like, okay, fine. But that is not, I don't feel like it's out of like obligation. I honestly feel like there are people here that want what's best for you, that want to see you happy, that want you to be okay. And I feel like you sense that. You sense who you can take help from and who you know, would definitely flip that on you and like, you know what I mean? Like use it against you in the future. You have that awareness that not everybody give fr gives freely. Some people give and then they use that as leverage, right? But I feel like you have a really good picture of who you're dealing with. And this is someone who sees that you work really hard. This could be like a loan from someone, someone may be offering a bonus, a loan, a gift, um, something to do with money, could be even like a job opportunity. Take it, okay? That's what I'm hearing, take it. Take it because it's gonna be the first step in a long journey of, for some of you getting back on your feet, financially, professionally. For others of you, it's gonna be more like the first step in a line of success. So there's a brand new beginning here in your finances in the new, near future. And it's something that you have already earned because you've put a lot of work in. Okay, Pisces, you've put a lot of work in. And I see that some of you have had to deal with lessons that were a part of your journey, regardless of how well you were doing things. Some of you may have made really good choices, you may have put in a lot of effort, you may have done everything right, but a lesson still needed to happen, and it did, <laughs> and it may have brought to you difficulty for some of you. Take it if it resonates. And I see here that maybe you're humbled at this time, maybe you're worried about needing someone's help, but I feel like... your hard work pays off and someone here wants to see you thrive because they feel you deserve it. I feel like you have now kind of like a second sight. One that, it's like one sight that sees what's in front of you and the, it's kind of like your normal Pisces sight, right? So you do see layers of signs and intuition and energy in this first sight but it's like you have now like x-ray vision or second sight that tells you everything about someone's intentions and everything about like how they can maneuver or manipulate you some of you may be watching shows like um la casa de papel i don't know how you say that in english i don't know if the name is like house of cards? I don't know. You may see uh, a lot of series and things that basically depict how master manipulators manipulate. <laughs> and I feel like some of you have been like, wow, like I have been so manipulated my entire life. And it almost feels like now you know how to identify when someone is wanting to do that to you again. It's like you're outsmarting the devil, Pisces. Some of you may be receiving gifts. Yeah, I already said that. Um, <laughs> uh, some gifts are welcome, some others are yeah, received carefully. 
you may realize that someone wants to always like buy you with presents or with money. And when you take that option out of the dynamic and you say, hey, you know what? I feel uncomfortable when you give me gifts. You may feel like this person has lost their ability to manipulate you. It could be a good move, I guess, for some of you, if you feel like they are sort of doing that. There's a hope here, there's a desire here to achieve almost like spiritual unity by mastering the financial and physical realm. Some of you are like, you know what, I'm done dealing with this level of the human experience, you know, like I'm done uh, working on my limiting beliefs and doing all these things, like I'm done with this. I'm ready to just have it all and move on to the next um the next area of life. That feels like it applies for many of you who have struggled with finances your entire life. Whether it is because you don't have them, whether it is because you have them and made wrong choices, well, quote unquote wrong choices, um, whether it is because you can manifest it but not keep it, sustain it, retain it, whatever. And I feel, Pisces, like, in a way, you want to unplug from this matrix, right? But at the same time, in a very unconscious level, I feel like this fear in this area of life almost keeps you busy, which happens to be very convenient <laughs> for the part of you that is scared to have to step up and be of service. It's like, oh, you know, I can't step up and be of service if I'm always struggling, right? So it almost becomes an excuse for that part of you that is fearful of being of service. Um, it almost becomes an excuse in which you're like, you know, I can't do it until that happens. I can't do it until I'm stable. I can't do it until this, that, the other. And if that resonates with you, it's time to cut it off, Pisces. There's no point. If you're not ready to be of service and you don't want to be of service or you don't want to step up into a higher level, fine. Say it. Admit it consciously. You don't need to be broke to make that decision. You know, you can just make the decision and avoid being broke or or struggle financially. All right? I don't know for who this reading is, but I hope that something um, you got to take away from it um, and that, you know, something resonated, comment below, let me know. And I remind you that in our 60% off mid-year sale that is going on right now, you can find the links below, um, there is also a discount applied on the manifestation sessions. You can book as many as you want for the rest of the year. The planner is and the scheduling is... Um, available and open for the rest of the year so you can book as many as you want and have them all at that discounted price um, instead of you know having to go back to the regular price which is more than double all right Pisces so yeah stop by visit our site let me know what you think I love you bye